Hi, this is Mike from Power BI Tips. Today I'd like to show you a little bit around the grids that are used in Power BI Desktop. I have a sample file here, and inside this file we have a blank canvas. And to turn on the settings for gridding, you can go to the View ribbon, and you can click on the button called Show Grid Lines. Let's zoom in here. Show Grid Lines. By doing this, it puts a bunch of dots on your screen. And you'll notice that they are all starts on the left hand side with a full square and kind of goes to the right hand side without a full square. You can add a visual to this. So if I click these two items, I now have a bar chart. And this can help you kind of line up your bar charts on those lines. So it can help you orient your visuals on the page. Now something that kind of is a little bit annoying is it's kind of hard to drag everything onto the actual dots. So you have another option up here called Snap Objects to Grid. If you turn that on as well, now as you grab the corners, you'll notice that the image is actually snapping to those points on the page, which is kind of helpful. But this doesn't really give you a good indicator across the entire page. So I can kind of get this visual here, Control C and Control V, I can drop another visual next to it. Let's see if I can get these all lined up. There we go. So now I have two visuals on the page with a kind of a nice spacing gap in there. This is good, gets you a good start on a lot of visualizations, but what I find sometimes, it's important to know where the center of your screen is, um, and sometimes the, the lines on the screen kind of throw you off because the gridding that they have here isn't really the right size for this page. So Power BI Tips has produced another set of layouts. This layout is specifically called Grids, and we have two versions of this, a fine grid version of gridding and a coarse version of gridding. So here is one of the versions of the gridding that we have. It's basically an image on the back of the page. So if you go to the page settings here, we have page information, and you can see the page background here is just an image, and there's the transparency is turned all the way up. So you can adjust the transparency here on this one. This is in a background image. And similarly, what we did before is we can enter some data. Enter data here. Let's just make up some data. We can now have that that visual on this page so you can then line this up again on the gradient lines here this does sadly does not let you snap everything but now you'll notice that all the objects across the outside of the page every square is an equal spacing across the entire page and we also have red crosshairs uh, denoting the middle of the page so as i go here i know that this is the exact center of my page if i want to use that as information on how i want to lay out objects if i'm Get all my objects on the page. Let's add another visual here. Control C, Control V. I'll drop on another image or two. Control C, Control V. Now I've got some images on the page. Now that I've lined them up the way I think they should be lined, aligned, I can then go back to the page level here. So clicking in on the grid, clicking the paint roller, and the page background, I can turn the transparency all the way to zero. So now I can ensure that all my visuals are lined up according to the grid that's in the background. Another alternative here is this um, file has the three different settings. It's the landscape version, um, the square version of the file, and then also a letter version of the file. So we've also gone through and made different background images for each of these. These are all controlled by the background images as well. So you can see I can adjust that here on these background images. Additionally, we also made one with just images. So um, dropping an image on the page as opposed to dropping a page on the background. We now have a separate file that puts the same information on a page, but now it's just an image. So if I click on this image here, you notice it has a bunch of properties. If I want to turn off this image, I can go over to the view ribbon, turn on the selection panel, and now I can toggle this image on or off with the image button. All right, thanks. This is Power BI Tips Grids. Hope you like it. Be sure to follow us for more updates from Power BI Tips.